Hey everybody, Ann here, sitting here in the tiny house, having my iced coffee with all of you. And, well, yesterday was my birthday. It was a great birthday. Uh, so today, well, the generator was supposed to be delivered today. But I checked with UPS and all they've updated so far is that it's left Texas. So normally, if it's going to be out for delivery, it would have been marked for out for delivery by now. Um, and there's been no updates since it left Texas, so I don't think that this generator is coming today, but that's okay. It'll get here eventually. Um, I did get the shed cleaned out, so I'm going to show you that. Well, I already showed you, but um, I did move all the rest of the stuff to behind the shed, so I just don't have to look at it right behind the tiny house. Um, I'm going to show you the chickens and just have a look around at things. Um, I'm kind of tired today. We had a good we had a good day yesterday. Um, and my neighbor's gonna cook me a beautiful dinner today and um, we didn't have it yesterday because we were both doing stuff and um, so we're gonna do the the birthday dinner today. Anyhow, yeah, I'm a little disappointed that it's not gonna come today, but that's okay because the air conditioner wasn't even gonna come until like next week sometime. So you know, I, I figured, that it wouldn't come on time, but uh, I'm still disappointed. Anyway, I gotta get my day going. Let's see what these cute baby chickens are doing. She's just basically staying down here. I gotta clean that water out yet again. There's one, two, three, four, five. There's two more. There, they're underneath of there. I'm sorry, I'm not holding this very steady. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, the two remaining eggs that were she was sitting on, um, she brought them down here. Uh, they weren't viable. They were just liquidy. Uh, the two other missing eggs were accounted for. They were up in there. And um, they had cracked and had uh, non-viable baby chicks in them. So we got seven, and I think that that's good enough. Oh my goodness, you guys, I cannot wait to see what that blonde one looks like. Okay, we got one with a white spot on its head, two with a white spot on its head. So I don't know, we could have two or three roosters. Oh, baby chicken. Alrighty, let me, let me clean this out and get in some more food. There you go, Miss Priss Pants Pants. Yep, tell your babies. Time to eat. Look at that one. Oh my gosh. Get yourself a water. Oh my gosh. So what I'll do, um, I'll wait till the last hen has laid her egg. There's already one in the nest over there. And, um... Once Roxy lays, then I will close the van door and just, right now, I've just given them just a little bit of extra room, just because I don't want the babies out everywhere. Miss Pris could get out if she wanted to, but she's not. She's just been sticking around her babies. Her seven beautiful babies. Yep, two with white heads. <laughs> oh my goodness. I did get this whole area cleaned up. I got all the stuff behind the shed. Uh, I just didn't want to see it over here. I'm still going to have to have it all hauled off to the dump. So today I'm going to go over all this area with a uh, with a little mower. Because Mr. Lucas came over yesterday and for my birthday mowed my lawn. Yes, here all the way down to the street too. And it was getting pretty high because I had not mowed it in a week or two. So it looks pretty good. Look at this garden area. It's a mess. Yeah, I got two pumpkins growing. Yeah, I can't believe it. And look at, look, would you look at those green peppers? I got to get closer. I haven't been watering these at all. <laughs> it's just been raining a whole lot. But some of them even have little peppers on them. Can you guys believe this? I have been totally ignoring these. And look at, something has come and eaten my onion tops. That's all right still growing a little bit but look at this over in this corner there was an anthill so I poured well I didn't pour vinegar over it yet um, but I did disturb the nest several times so it just moved over here 
yeah, it just moved over here. So I guess I'm going to have to, I'm going to try that diatomaceous earth. I think that did work last time. Um, I've been pouring water on the mounds. But anyhow, yeah, I might go ahead and just uh, pull these onions and include them in tonight's dinner. I just cannot believe this. I just cannot believe these are growing. And yeah, pumpkins, pumpkins galore. There's not a single zucchini squash plant in here. So, you know what, whatever. I'm gonna have pumpkins. I'm happy. Here's a shed. Yeah, so I pulled this up a little bit. Um, and this is like rock solid. <laughs> no weeds on it or anything. It's even starting to crack, so. This is exactly where the generator is going to go, but it's not going there today because I don't think it's going to get here today. That's all right. It'll get here. Oh, look it. This is pretty cool. These grew here last year. These are white coral. Well, I guess you could call them mushroom. Fungus, I don't think they're edible, but uh, they sure are pretty, and they're growing all over the place. It's just starting, so I'm gonna leave these go and see how big they get. Oops, back, Papa. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Here's another pretty awesome specimen. I like it. I'm gonna take a still photo. Yep, the goldenrod is definitely coming back. I just love the colors that are coming out in all these brush. Look at these pretty flowers. Aren't they just gorgeous? Oh, there's bees all over the place. I need to find out what these are. They are gorgeous. And I got them growing all in this corner over here. Beautiful. Oops, the goldenrod does tend to get droopy sometimes. Look at all these flowers. And I didn't even have to plant a single seed. Look at another passion fruit vine plant right here. Right down by the street. Look at that, it's big. It's all over the place. Oh yeah. I don't know, I'm wondering if this one will start showing blooms. Maybe even fruit. Because it's not transplanted, it's just coming up from the ground. So I'll gather that one next year. I also love this brush pile <laughs> right over here by my mailbox. It has the most beautiful white flowers on it. I don't know what they are, but they're beautiful and they're fragrant. Finally gonna harvest that one and that one and take them to dinner. Probably that one too. And I've already harvested several other peppers off of these plants. I'm gonna take that to dinner. This one's at, oh my gosh! Something's already eating it. I wonder if one of the chickens got to it. Oh, dang it! I am peppers are really just putting out a lot of peppers. I've already harvested like four times and I'm going to have plenty of dried cayenne. I'm drying it out inside the tiny house. And this eggplant plant, I, I literally haven't even been doing anything with it. And look it, it's got another bloom. <laughs> so who knows, maybe I'll get another eggplant. This beauty berry is doing really well. Since I got all that other stuff out of it, it's just taken off. i got to water all these plants today. Oh, I think I'm going to get me some berries. Do you guys see that? Let me get out of the... There we go. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get some berries. I started filling these jars. These were packages that were already open. So I decided to just go ahead and put them in jars. I think they'll last a little bit longer. I put, yeah, that sea salt in that big one there. Uh, brown sugar, beans, rice, and all my herbs. I've been drying out herbs right and left. And uh, the little containers weren't big enough, so I've started putting them in these. But I think that looks pretty. I still haven't put up the other, uh, the other, what you call it, shelf yet. Um, it's just so hot. So, uh, well, who knows what else I'll do today. Probably not a whole lot of anything. This is the status of the generator. I doubt it's even left Texas yet. Oh, well. So, it's not coming today. It'll come eventually. I just was kind of wishing it would come today, <laughs> but uh, so who knows when it's going to get here. I don't know if the Tennessee uh, flooding had anything to do with it, but um, it, just depending on where they traveled through, if it's coming from Texas, you wouldn't think that they would even go through that area, but anyhow, so it's not coming. Uh, so I'm going to go over to my neighbors. She's going to cook me a beautiful dinner. So that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video.
Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.